What's up, YouTube? Well, told you y'all was gonna have to wait to the next one. This is it. This is the one we're going to uh, work on buffing the paint. Now, a little bit of backstory. I ain't gonna talk too much. I know I talk a lot on them, but um, the paint that is on this truck, that's how flimsy the side of the truck is. Anyway, so the paint that is on this truck, I painted this truck with one stage paint that's probably been if just having a guess has probably been a it's probably been 16 17 years now I think about it because where I went to after the truck was painted their kid is 16 now he's in high school so yeah and they didn't have kids they weren't even married then so um I actually I'll even tell you where I went um this truck we we literally, me and my dad, I don't know if he else was there, we just scuffed the truck down, taped up the windows, sprayed it, set for just long enough that it, it was like, it wasn't, you could tell the paint was still soft, but it wasn't like tacky, like to the touch. Took all the tape off of it and drove it over to uh, my buddy Eddie's house. And uh, I think Eddie and Andy, and Terry and Jennifer was there and we drove the truck over there and Eddie and Jennifer are married now of course if anybody knows them they've been married for a long time and I think uh, I think their oldest is like 16 now so this was when they were dating so that's been that's been a good 17 you know 17 20 years ago this truck was painted so anyway long story short let's uh I bust one little spot, just so I hit it with some compound and show what it looks like, and then we're gonna get to work on the rest of it and see how it turns out. So this is literally, well, that's got some stuff on it, but you can see how faded the paint is. Obviously, we've done some little bit of work there. We're gonna go back and fix these places later, but but look at that. That's with one little thing of compound and like i said we sprayed this truck outside at, at least probably 17 years ago one stage paint not base clear so let's see what we can get out of it. we've done a little bit on the door now one fender i think it's the driver's side over there we hit a uh i hit a deer with it one time i mean lincolnton so yeah so let's see what we can get out of this truck that's a big difference y'all and that's this one little halfway done spot. So let's get to it. Look at that, y'all. Not bad for some pretty old paint that sits outside all the time. Yeah, it's got nicks and scratches. Like I said, this paint's like 17 years old, 18 years old. And it sits outside. Don't get taken care of, one stage paint. So, keep going. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done tonight. May end up having to come out here. Probably not tomorrow. I'll probably work all day or work late tomorrow. But I don't know. We'll see what I feel when I get home. And then, go over here, clean the tractor. So, anyway, let's get back to it. Try to get some more done. I don't even know what time it is. We'll try to get a little bit more done and uh, see how far we can get. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm done for tonight. Oh, the camera didn't do good. There, I got this fender, side fender, whatever. Did the back, around the door. I've done to here on the door. If you get down, you can see the difference. And there on the door. Around that, the top I didn't hit with a buffer. I just done it by hand, so you still see it needs to be cleaned up more. Now down the top of the hood, so you can tell a big difference on the hood from having it done to not having it done. So, but I'm turning in for tonight. This video is gonna keep going. I'll do some more recording the uh, next time we do some more on it, get some more of it cleaned up. Go from there, y'all. So uh, yeah, keep watching. 
All right, y'all, so we started on this a little bit again. Of course, y'all seen the fender. Look, the door's completely done. Up, around, I gotta do that little bitty spot right down through there. Got the door done. I gotta do this piece. I'm saving the hand pieces pretty much the last. The fender done, I got the wheels repainted. A little tire shine, just to make it look good sitting in this garage in here. And of course, the grill looks pretty decent. But let me move this. It's getting there, y'all. We're gonna try to get the hood rest away finished. You can see a difference there. Yeah. If anybody's wondering what I'm using, obviously it's not the best stuff, but I use Meguiar's Mirror Glaze. It always does awesome for us for compound and then, uh, of course, Meguiar's Wax. I probably could use a, a rougher buffing wheel, but I don't wanna try to take off too much because, well, I still got some places on there. Swear. but I don't want to try to take off too much because I don't know how thin this paint is. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked, y'all. It's looking pretty good. All right, y'all ready to see the cage? We started on it, and uh, after starting on it, I should have waited on doing the floor. This paint that we're using, so the paint that I use is going to take a lot of coats because it's thin. Y'all going to like it, I think. Let me show you what we got. Just starting on it. Uh, probably not going to finish it for a little while, but once we get the cage done, we'll have to tape it up and uh, then spray the rest of everything else. So, let me show you. She's going fluorescent green. As you can see, all this, look, this stuff right here, literally just, it wipes up pretty easy. So, a lot of it might be able to get off and blow it out. We'll see. Yep. It's going fluorescent green. Let me know what y'all think about that. So, let's get to it and start doing some more. All right, y'all, we're pretty well done with this side. We actually uh, got in this little bed area. We had to do all it by hand. Had to do it step by hand. That was fun. But we got, uh, got this whole side. Got half the hood done. My camera is stinking right now. Hold on a minute. Hopefully that looks a little better. It still looks weird. There we go. That's better. Just had to adjust the zoom on it. So yeah, we got this side and some of the roof. Pretty much about half of it. So the next step will be the other side, obviously. Not too shabby. Pretty pretty happy with it. We got, we're going to shine the grill up too. But let me show you this thing, y'all. This overspray. Look, well, you can see it through the stinking window. It's not done, obviously. We just started. Look at that. Ooh, that's gonna be bright. Look at this stuff. Let's see if it'll do it. it just wipes off pretty easy. So once this dries, we might take a water hose to the inside of it and wash as much of it out as we can. And then go back and we'll tape the cage up and then spray the spray the floor black. Yeah, well, she looking good though. Pretty happy with that. I like the green. So, wasn't really gonna go quite that bright, but turned out pretty good. We still got to put some more on that, obviously. So, I don't know if I got enough paint to do it all. We'll go back by more if we don't. So now you know. Now you know what color the cage is gonna be. Uh, you get to see Truck getting cleaned up. What y'all think about how the truck's coming along with that old paint on it? Some old one stage. But uh, tell me in the comments below what you think about the cage and the color of it. But I appreciate y'all watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. We'll see you on the next one.